the conversation. Let's just look and see what rules, what partner share rules are they using? Let's just take a look at a picture. Can you turn to your partner that we assigned you to and talk about what good partner share rules that these two girls are using? Go ahead and share with your partner what you see. Eyes up here, please. High five. Awesome job. Put your hands down. I heard I see eye contact. I, I heard over here that they are facing each other and they're looking like this and not like this. So nice job. Okay. Today, our objective, every time you see this target sign or this, um, that's our objective. That's the goal that we are going to learn today. Okay. So I'm going to read it first. Our objective today. I can follow conversation rules. You read it with me. Ready? Go. I can follow conversation rules. Turn to the person next to you and read it. Go. I can follow conversation rules. Very nice. Here. Every time you see this, oh, this is, this is a different slide. So for this lesson, we are going to identify ourselves as partner A or partner B, and we already did that, right? So top partner A, raise your hand one more time. Nice job. And partner B, raise your hand. Okay? Very good. We already did that before we started. So a conversation is, that's a big word, right? Conversation. All it means is when people are talking to each other. Two or more people take turns sharing their thoughts and ideas about a topic. Having conversation is like tossing a ball back and forth. Each person has a chance to say something while the other person listens. Can you guys say conversation? Conversation. That just means when two or more people are talking to each other. And it is very important. Like, if I have a ball and toss it to um, Milo, Milo, he'll catch it, and then it'll be his turn, and I'll catch it. So conversation is like tossing a ball. You take turns. Okay. So in a conversation, one partner speaks at a time. Okay. I have, I have a copy here for you. Um, when speaking, you use classroom voice. You don't yell. Right? And when listening, make sure, and a lot of people I've heard say, said that, you make eye contact. So, one partner speaks at a time. When speaking, use classroom voice. And when listening, you make eye contact. And that's the big idea. That's why we're learning conversation. And I also, before I leave today, I'm going to give you, every time I come in and teach a class, I give them a big idea folder. And I have a copy. And we'll just keep, keep the big idea in our big idea folder. Okay, so go ahead and um, I want you to think about two of the conversation rules. Let's read them together. Number one, one partner speaks at a time. Can you say it? One partner speaks at a time. Number two, when speaking, use classroom voice. Can you say it? When speaking, use classroom voice. Nice job. When listening, make eye contact. When listening, make eye contact. Very nice. So, can you pick one of them that you want to share that you think is important? Think about one or two that you want to share. Now, turn to your partner. Partner B, you share with partner A two of the ones that you think are important. Go ahead, partner B. And then partner A, you share with partner B. They're all important, but just share one or two of them with your partner. Um, 
when speaking. Oh, let me Yes. Yeah, now partner A, can you share with partner B one of the one or two of the roles? Say, 
up to have a group of three. Okay, thumbs up when you and your partner are done. Thumbs up.
before you go home, I want you to practice saying this to somebody at school. And you are going to say, one thing I learned in school was, and you're going to to use the conversation rule. I noticed that before you went to recess, uh, Miss Sahakian gave you a time, she was talking about time, right? She was asking you questions about time before you left. So sometime today, before you leave school, maybe you could say this to somebody. You could even say it to me if you see me out at lunch. One thing I learned in school today was, okay, and you're going to look at the person. So think about what you're going to say today. Do you have an idea of what you're going to, you don't have to tell me right now. Everybody just read this part with me. One thing I learned, oh, I'm sorry. One thing I learned in school today was, so think about what you're going to say. Maybe you could say it to a teacher or Miss Siegel or Miss Worley or Miss Sahakian or myself or your parents or a friend. Raise your hand if you have an idea of who you're going to tell. Very nice. Okay, so that's this lesson. Thank you guys very much for doing the lesson on, um, I want to show you guys. This is the website. This is our Mark Keppel website that I work on. And this is where our lessons are. I just want to show you. And you guys are in first grade, so I clicked on first grade. And look at all the people that are on the lessons. That makes me excited. I get excited when people are using your lessons. Well, last year, Miss Sahakian was on the writing team, so she helped write these lessons. So, this is what I taught you right here. And I'll share it with Miss Sahakian so she can share it on your Shutterfly. And maybe tonight, you can go over those uh, slides with your parents. If we do on our Shutterfly, too. Nice. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. So I taught you this lesson. This is the language arts side. I just taught you conversation rules. We're going to take a little quick go noodle break, and then I'm going to do a fun arts lesson with you guys. I'm going to teach you fun art words. Okay, so thank you for listening. Raise your hand if you learned about conversation rules. Very nice. And thank you to Mark. Okay, thank you. This is April Fayetta at Mark Keppel School. We're taking a quick go noodle brain break. And then we're still in the first trimester of first grade. And we will be teaching the VAPA side, the arts. One, two,
read it together. I'll read it first and then you go. Use the vocabulary of theater. Of theater. Tableau. Pantomime. And improvisation. We're going to get back to those words in a little bit. Do they work with Miss... Miss Gilbert? Oh. This year, last year maybe. Oh, Miss Miss Gilbert is our theater theater teacher. Drama, yes, that's theater. Okay. So there are four different art disciplines. Yes, this is our review. There are four different visual arts, theater, dance, and music. Each each set of discipline has its own vocabulary words. So at our school, since we're a visual and performing arts magnet school, our visual art theater, I mean teacher is Ms. Zierhut. And I'm looking around in your room and I see a lot of visual arts. Many beautiful drawings. What's so, that one? Right. So you're doing a lot of visual arts in here with, with your teacher. Dance, our dance teacher is Miss Neal. Music is Someone's mom that's in here. Right, okay, your mom. Okay, so we have four. Say visual arts, visual arts, theater, theater dance, dance, and music. music. And I saw you guys singing the on Friday. Oh. Music, right? Ashley knows Mrs. Neil really well. She's my grandma's friend, and she went to the and she knows my whole entire family. Thank you. And She's plus, she went to. The, Thank you. She's the dance teacher. She is our dance teacher. So we have all four disciplines in our school. So good actors practice theater skills using different techniques. Three different techniques are tableau, pantomime, and improvisation. Good actors know these three terms and can tell the difference. So today, before I leave, you're going to know tableau. Say tableau. Tableau. Pantomime. Pantomime. And improvisation. And improvisation. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so, ooh, look at, I thought a mistake right here. So I have to go back to my office and fix it. Okay, so tableau. Everybody say tableau. Tableau. It's a frozen picture in which the actors don't move. Can you say that with me? A frozen picture in which the actors don't move. We're going to talk about more of tableau tomorrow and the next day, but for today we're just learning the theater terms. So when we say tableau, we're going to do this. Can everyone do this like a frozen frame? You don't move. Very nice tableau. Can you turn to your, par um, to your partner and sh say, do the movement for tableau? Go, tableau. tableau. Can you say, it's a frozen picture? <laughs> and the actors don't move? <laughs> Show me tableau. Very nice tableau. Okay, look up here. The next one is what we saw in the video. It's called pantomime. It's acting silently. And using imaginary objects. So everybody say pantomime. Pantomime. And say acting silently. Acting silently. Using imaginary objects. So this is the movement for that. It's like this. Acting silently. Everybody does this. And then pretend to drink milk. That's pantomime. Can everybody do pantomime with me? Go. Purple and yellow table, can you guys show me pantomime? Orange and yellow table, can you guys show me um, tableau? Orange. Red, red table. Can you show me tableau? Okay. And everybody, we're going to do improvisation and we'll talk about more that this week this one is unplanned acting without a script and say everybody say improvisation, improvisation. can you say unplanned, unplanned acting, acting without a script 
So you're going to take the script. Everybody take a fake script. Close the book and throw it away because you don't need it. You're going to do your own acting. It's not planned. You're going to plan your own acting. And we'll do some more this week of improvisation. Everybody take your book. Close it. And throw it away. Okay, so partner B, you're going to show partner A tableau, the frozen picture where actors don't move. Go ahead, partner B. Okay, now partner A, you're going to do pantomime for partner B. So it, no sound. And drink milk, just like the way we saw the, the kids doing it. And everybody say improvisation. Improvisation. Take the script, close the book, and throw it away. Okay. Okay, boys and girls, every time you see a sandwich, it's called a model model sandwich. And that's what Miss Fayetta thinks. I'm gonna do it, so don't tell me the answer. I'm gonna see if I can do it. Even if you know the answer, don't help me, okay? Okay. Hmm. The definition is acting silently and using imaginary objects. I'm going to use my my thinking map. Acting silently. Oh, that's this one. This one. That's a pantomime. So here's my second one. Here's my second one. Oh, tableau. That's a frozen picture. So the model ones are the ones that I do for you. And I'm going to give you one of these. And this is your big idea folder, which we'll keep in our desk. And here's the first big idea for today. Actually, this says theater terms, but it's very dark. But you can take a look at your thinking wrap so you can be sure of which one, which theater term that we're going to be doing. Oh. So first, you know what, before we do our exercises, let me give you this because it's so helpful to look at a big idea, okay? You guys can even practice, um, you can even practice doing the moves by yourself prior to. Um, well, oh, I see some of you are practicing the movements. Very nice. The definition of the theater term, go ahead and open it once you get it. The definition of the theater term is in there. I know because it's dark. That also, that's another mistake that I have to figure out. See, that I have to fix this. Too dark. Okay. What happens to the light bulb? We have to color. What do you mean? The light bulb. Oh, it didn't turn out. Sometimes when I have a color, it's like this, a colored um, copy, and I make black and white copies, they don't come out amazing. Okay. Like this one I have to do for you again because it's so dark. But this one came out okay. Mine's good. All right. So, partner A. You're gonna, we're going to read the definition. Unplanned acting without a script. So partner A, look at the thinking map. Partner A, what do you think the motion is for unplanned acting without a script? Can you show partner B the motion of unplanned acting without a script? Get the script. Red table, partner, red and green and purple table. Partner A, can you show me the movement for unplanned acting without a script? Table, um, partner A on pink table and yellow, yellow table, can you show me the movement? Get this and partner B, can you say this? I'll say it with you because it's a long word. Can you say 
the theater term for it? Very nice. Say it. Improvisation. Pink, red, and blue table say improvisation. Improvisation. Green, purple, yellow table say improvisation. Improvisation. And it's going to it. It's the last one on your thinking map. When we throw away the script. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, partner B, do the motion to partner A of pantomime. Partner B, do the motion for pantomime. Show your partner. Pink, blue, and red table. Can I see the motion for pantomime? Purple, yellow, green table. Can I see the motion for pantomime? And then the second part says give the definition. So partner A, can you tell partner B what pantomime means? And you could use your thinking map. What does it mean? Right. Can everybody point to the middle definition? You guys are such good readers for first grade. I'm so impressed. Right here. Acting silently and using imaginary objects. Can you guys read it with me? Go. Acting silently and using imaginary objects. Okay. Last one. Everybody show me this one. You could just show me. Can you show me, can you, everybody show me the mo people are already doing it, you read ahead. Do the motion for frozen picture. And the theater term is, point to it. What's the theater term for a frozen picture? Tableau. Tableau. Can you guys say tableau? Tableau. Very nice. Okay. Then we get to this. Look at the three arrows, the three questions, the closure. We close up all the learning in your brain, okay? What did we learn? What, which theater terms did we learn today? And how will you remember? So I like to go back because it helps me. This is my favorite part of the lesson. Because in the beginning, these words seem so big, but now we know them, okay? So we, this was what we learned, our objective. We use the vocabulary of theater. Your turn. We use the vocabulary of theater. Tableau. Tableau. Pantomime. Tableau. And improvisation. Improvisation. Can you tell in your own words, in your very own words, and some of you can read this, can you tell your partner what you learned today, what the objective is? Go ahead. You can even read it. What theater charms did you learn today? That's a long one. Improvisation. Okay. Hey, can you tell your partner how you are going to remember each one? How are you going to remember it? Like for me, in the beginning, when I taught Miss Bit Paris class, I had to look at this a lot because I didn't know. But now, so you could say to your partner, I'm going to remember... Tableau, pantomime, and improvisation by looking here. Or you could show them the movement. Go ahead and tell your partner, how will you remember these three terms? How? Are you going to use your thinking map? How are you guys going to remember? Okay, by writing it down. How are you going to remember? Who wants to share aloud how they're going to remember the three theater terms? Uh, what is your name? I don't know. Julie. 
You're going to look at your thinking map. I'm um, Sheila. Shelia. You're going to write it down. Okay. Um, Nicolette. Uh, we're, we're going to learn more stuff. But how are you going to remember these words? Oh. What are you going to do to remember? I'm going to pantomime at, at home. You're going to pantomime at home. Okay, and that's a great idea because today I'm going to share this video and the slides with your teacher, and she could put it on Shutterfly. Isn't that awesome? Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot to do this part with you. <laughs> I forgot to do the independent practice. Why don't we do it standing up? Why don't we do it standing up? Because sometimes it's not a worksheet we can do. We have to do it together. Okay. Theater term is tableau. Can you show me the movement? Very nice. Okay, the definition and the definition is acting silently and using imaginary objects. Can you point to the one on your thinking map, which that one is? Acting silently and using imaginary objects. The middle one, pantomime. Let's do the movement for pantomime. And then everybody read this one for me. Improvisation. Improvisation. It's when you don't plan, you don't have a script. So let's take the script. Close it. Okay. Very nice. We just completed today the day one of language arts and theater. So give yourself a pat on the back. Good job. Great. And stay standing if you want to do one more break. For more VAPA integrated lessons K-5, through check out www.markkeppelelementary.org.